Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the Hermes M3. It is by far the lowest profile mechanical RGB keyboard that I've seen on the market. Um, it's customizable of course when you connect it to the PC, but it is by far one of the thinnest keyboards I've also seen on the market. Let's check it out. Looking at the box, uh, we do have some customizations built into this keyboard so you can change the color effects without using the Hera software on the PC. Although for the best performance, you definitely want to install that on your PC. Uh, we have media keys, key lock, as well as the aluminum backing for a more sturdier build uh, construction. As well as the fact that this is a really fully customizable RGB keyboard as well as being low profile. And it is an 87 key profile. Uh, they do a quick comparison here between a standard mechanical keyboard and theirs. And of course, three millimeter, five millimeter, as well as up to uh, life cycle testing is up to 60 million. Lastly, definitely low profile, 16.8 uh, million colors. So we can definitely customize it to our heart's content, two programmable macro keys, as well as Hera application support. And that's what you need to download to use it on your PC. Here is the mechanical keyboard, as I mentioned to you guys, metal backing, so definitely a much sturdier construction. And I'll explain to you why I have a quarter here. Uh, no numeric pad, and again, function, different uh, you know options here for the color options, as well as media keys, volume up, volume down, and of course, the ability to do a key lock on it. Uh, the Windows key and the function key are interchangeable, and they do give us the keycap remover as well as the uh, USB cable. As you notice, there was no cables running micro USB to USB type A that connects right here at the top. So definitely very nice, low profile in the, in the performance at least. It's pretty comparable to most of your key, uh, mechanical keyboards. It does have two offsets at the back to be able to give you a higher build. And of course, we do have the rubberized feet on the back. Uh, other than that, this is pretty much what you would expect from a mechanical keyboard, except a lot shorter. And what I mean shorter, and this is why I was using the quarter, is the fact that, you know, if you're going to basically put the quarter next to it, and I'll give you guys a real quick picture right there, um, you'll see how basically this is about the height of a quarter. So if you really want to know this right now and see how high this keyboard is, just get a quarter out of your pocket, put that in, and that's pretty much how tall this keyboard is. Just to give you guys a quick comparison between the, this is the Aki KMG7, and of course, uh, this is the M3, very, very, very thin. Now I know a lot of us want to hear the sound test, so this is a quick test. This is the standard, this is the E2. Definitely a lot lower sound, but it still has the mechanical feeling on it, the, the, the feedback that you get from it. Very nice, good travel, extremely well built, very good. This is the GAMDS website, specifically for the Hermes M3 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. Again, it's an 87 key keyboard. You can find more information and you can download the Hera software here to be able to control this keyboard and customize it on your desktop. Once you have the Hera software installed, you'll notice that there's a few things, you, it's right away. It recognizes your keyboard and installs the drivers for it. Now I have a, another keyboard that's connected here. This is the Hermes P2 uh, RGB keyboard, which is a really nice one. And I'll give you guys a link to that one in the description below. I've done a review for it before as well as the uh, my mouse here, which is the Zeus P1. But as far as customizations, we have six different profile options that we can customize, switching the function and the window key, macro management, as well as assigned sound timer, uh, sound file edit, timer settings, of course, for some in-game options as well. But the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is the keyboard luminance. Uh, now by default, it comes with one straight color. You can change that. And you can see that right there on the left side, I'm doing this live. Uh, it's literally right away. It takes no time for it to actually push directly to the keyboard. Now, if you want to customize it to a next level stuff, which is the way I have it here, uh, this is for where I'm playing Overwatch. I have my WSASD here configured in green, yellow, and I have one key here that's a different color, or I can just highlight, let's say I want to go to, uh, let's say, yeah, it's the dark green, and I can just use a drag and drop kind of functionality, highlight and select, and right away it changes color on the actual keyboard. Uh, and you can you can just go in there, change it by key level or directly by uh, one at a time. So you notice right there, the F6 turned white. Last but not least is the support tab, and this gives you the ability of not only updating Hera, the software itself, but the keyboard itself. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is that you'd actually have the ability of changing the colors directly on the keyboard itself. By holding the function key and using the six different options you have here, you can change this to this one, two different options, and this is more of a glowing effect, of course, ending page down just changes and then we can go back to having a, just a different color. As far as performance and sound, this is definitely going to be the thinnest, lowest profile uh, mechanical customizable RGB keyboard that you can get on the market. 
Now, it's a little bit quieter than most mechanical keyboard, and that may be something that you're looking for. Maybe you don't want that super loud mechanical keyboard where everybody can hear you, and this is gonna fit that need. Um, it's great, again, as I said, to travel with because it's super easy, and you can take out the micro USB cable, and you don't have to stress that cable on the end, and you can just basically tuck it in in your backpack and go connect it to your laptop when you wanna play and have a little bit more room on that keyboard. It's gonna be really nice. Uh, the Hero software is definitely a PC-only software that allows you to customize extra functions within this keyboard, uh, but out of the box, actually, you don't really need the Hero software. You can hook it up and use the six different presets that are built into it uh, right above the uh, direction keypad. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to say thank you very much to Gamdias for allowing me to check out the M3. And I'll give you guys, of course, a link in the description below to find out some more about pricing and availability in your area. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you guys in the next video.